guys, I'm not really sure where time is going. Um, I'm trying to prop you up right now. I think I, there we go. Um, I'm currently in the car right now because I just got back in the car from uh, going on a natural grocer's run, which I didn't anticipate having to do so soon. I figured, oh, you know, I have time, da da da. Jokes on me, I don't have time because I literally leave town in about, it'll be a, I'll leave town in a week on Tuesday. So, um, I have a lot to get done this week and today being Sunday with work being really slow right now, I figured let me go ahead and get this done because if I don't do it now, I might end up not being able to do it next, this upcoming week because if work gets as busy as it has been this last week, I mean, I was working overtime slightly and by the time I got to the end of the day, I didn't feel like doing anything. Um, and I still had another job that I had to work. So, um, we're thinking ahead. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go anywhere else. It is, because it is Sunday in town, a lot of things are closed <laughs> so there's some more like major stores that are open but i don't think i'll be doing that i do need to put in an order for groceries for the week uh and sit down and figure that out but i'll have some time to do that when i get home i'll do a little like run through of the items i picked out which uh, I honestly probably should have just put up here in the front seat, but I didn't do that. So, I'll do a little walkthrough of the few items that I did get that I needed and or wanted. So, uh, stay tuned. I will try and do a vlog this week. I'm trying to make more content for you guys. Um, and yeah, we'll see what the week has ahead. I did a little bit of work today, but not too much. Um, I was supposed to have a phone call with a prospect for my travel agent job, or my travel for my travel agency job, but they uh, I reached out via text to them to check in and see if they still wanted a phone call, and they said no, thank you. So I responded back, and I'm trying to see if they're even interested in a, in a trip still or not. So, uh, hopefully that answer will be yes, but you never know. I think that's the only update I have for you guys right now. So I'll talk to you guys again a little bit later. Okay, so I never showed you my haul from Natural Grocers. So here it is. I got this shampoo. Um the conditioner that's matching i got some new tinctures these two i already have um but i was running low on the ones i currently have um so i got some more i also got this black um elderberry one um because i'm gonna be traveling soon but this one only has will it focus i don't know if it will focus there we go it only has elderberry and then um, the items that make it a tincture. So there's those. These have been really great. If you haven't seen it, I'll link the video that I made reviewing these tinctures. Um, highly recommend. Um, but before you try any anything that's herbal, um, if you do take medications, just double check that the herbs used are safe for you to take alongside your medications. I got a refill on vitamin D3. These are great because they're little gel capsules and they're easy to, they're soft gels. So they're easy to take and there's 240 so they last a while. And then I got some Sleepy Time Peach. I didn't need it, it just sounded nice. Um, I'm either gonna have that tonight or I also got this, which is Honey Lavender Yogi Stress Relief Tea, um, and it is caffeine-free as well. Um, but these are really yummy. When I started college, I was drinking these a bunch, and there was one other kind. 
Um, but I love the Yogi Tees because they have little quotes on the little tea tags. And this one has um, those ingredients. Feel free to pause the video and, you know, look at it. But those are the ingredients. And so that is my... That is my haul. Um, and yeah, so I will bring you along with me again this week, I think. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Um, I'm going to be moving around a little bit while I'm talking to you. So I do apologize in case, you know, you get a little uh, dizzy. Um, but right now, it is Saturday. I'm getting ready because my grandparents are coming to, um, pick me up. Because I'm going to go stay a night with them. And then, um, they'll, I'm going to come back home tomorrow. But they, they are about to go on a trip to Alaska that I helped plan for them. And so, I'm really excited for them to be able to go on their trip. I'm hoping that their wishes of seeing the Northern Lights will come true for them. Um, it's certainly a bucket list item for me. Uh, I thought I was going to talk to you guys more this week. But quite frankly, this week for work was... It was a week, we're just going to say that. I'm going to try and prop you up. We're going to see if this... Hey, look at that. I got you propped up. Um, but yeah, no, this week for work was, uh, it was a week and a, it was a week. I, for anyone who's watching this, regardless of what job you do, um, if you're interacting with someone for work, please be kind because... I can tell you it'll put us, you might be feeling strained from whatever you're dealing with, but please don't put that strain onto someone else who's maybe trying to contact you for help or something. If you work in a job where you're interacting with other people to help them um, and whatnot, or just in general, be kind. Um, I spoke with someone at a vendor this week. Um, to try and see if they can help me with something for a prospect of mine. And I just felt like I got like verbally attacked. This, this individual was so self-aware that they went ahead and said um, something like, I'm not lecturing you, I'm just trying to help you, you know, learn. You were self-aware enough to just say that to me, that you're not doing exactly what you're doing. So, I think, you know, towards the end of that call, especially since I remained kind through the whole phone call, um, I feel like that individual started to feel a little guilty. But, nonetheless, please take this as a, a little mental note. Just be kind. You don't know what other people are dealing with. And on top of that, you just you don't put your, um, try not to put your grievances and, and whatnot onto someone else. Um, but that's my little motivational, inspirational, positivity, whatever you want to call that message. <laughs> PSA, I don't know. Um, but let's see, right now, what's hot in the travel world? Train travel with, uh, Amtrak Vacations is popping off right now for, uh, as far as people wanting to travel go. Um, I do apologize if you hear scr scratching or something like that. My, our dog is asking to go outside, which I'm going to let her out. She actually doesn't know some of her favorite people are on their way here and should be here pretty soon, but, um, I'm gonna edit this vlog and piece it together and get it up for you guys, um, probably tomorrow. Today's Saturday, March 16th, 
Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, I think. If it's not tomorrow, it's Monday. So I've got green. I'm going to have more green on tomorrow. I'm not getting pinched, basically. So just letting you know, wear green if you, if you want to. Um, I will have a travel vlog coming up soon on Tuesday. I will be traveling. Um, so get ready for that. I'll have a vlog here that's not professional. <laughs> and then I will have a video going up on my travel agent YouTube channel as well, um, where I'm going to cover what it's like basically to go through TSA pre-check as well as having clear alongside that. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about TSA pre-check and what you can and uh, what you can expect with that, go and subscribe to my travel agent channel, which the link will be down below so you don't miss that um, video. And then other than that, I don't have any other updates. If you're interested in um, trying out my travel agent services, I will also have information down in the description below for that, as well as you can find that over on my travel agent YouTube channel as well. Um, but I will list my work Instagram for the travel work as also. Um, if you're new here and don't know, I did have a Instagram account for this channel, which is actually my blog channel, um, but last year around August, Instagram prompted me to create, or I guess set up, two-factor authentication on my Instagram account that I was using for this blog, as well as um, for my health coaching business, and then they also prompted me to do it for my um, travel agent Instagram. Well, when I got a new phone, I went to log back into my accounts and I didn't have a code for the 2FA. And so I've lost access to the original travel agent Instagram account I created, as well as my Instagram account for this. So I do, um, hate to say it, but I no longer have an Instagram for that. So this and um, my blog website would be the best places to go, except the blog. I haven't been active on there in a minute because I've been busy with work. But um, I do hope to continue doing stuff with it in the future. But I gotta go, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.